Philip was a kind of iconoclast. He was, he was a renegade. Like, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> older women pursuing him. Well, we're older women. That's right. A year older, <laughs> eight months older. We've got your school mates all talking about you in that arena, which is very nice. And Phil had a special quality. I, I think I would say when you mentioned uh, Stu, yeah. he sort of started to know his path. He sort of had the courage, I think, to really branch out in a way. I mean, we, we all went into professions. Right. And that, even though most of our uh, families or our forebears had not been involved, we were, we were making strides in that direction, it was almost more acceptable. Philip was a kind of iconoclast. He was, he was a renegade. Like, and, yeah, right. uh, no question. And even though he did finally he did finally do what his father wanted him to do, but at at the beginning it was not that way.